living in Cedar Hills, Utah. Today we're going to take you on the tour of the small city of Cedar Hills, Utah. After we're done, tell me what you think. Cedar Hills, Utah is located in Utah County and it is kind of the north east section of Utah County and it's as far away from I-15 as you can possibly get if you are commuting into Salt Lake. Right now we're about 40 minutes from downtown and 43 minutes from the Salt Lake International Airport so not too bad in the grand scheme. One interesting thing I have noticed in my business is a lot of my clients who end up buying in Cedar Hills actually are from out of state. I think locals have a hard time with the traffic because it is pretty hard to get to I-15 and commute. It's a a little further away you're about 15 minutes from i-15 and i think that makes a difference to the locals versus those who are used to commuting all the time one thing i love with cedar hills is we're getting new shopping opportunities and dining opportunities all the time they're in development mode they're proving things but they are doing it well and it's really pretty so this is one of the closer shopping districts to our home so we actually use this walmart pretty often it's only about five minutes away from us and it makes it really nice and convenient to live in utah county If schools are important to you, you're gonna like Cedar Hills. Cedar Hills is in the Alpine School District, which has an A minus rating on niche.com. The elementary schools, all great ratings. And the cool thing is you're actually mixed between three of the best rated high schools in Utah County. So you, depending where you buy a house, so check it out, uh, you can go to Lone Peak High School, American Fork High School, or Pleasant Grove High School, which are all great schools, different ratings on niche.com based off of what you're looking for, but look into to it um, to see what school fits best for your kids but it is kind of a mix of three different high schools that Cedar Hills goes to. So we are at Heritage Park right now which my kids lovingly call Death Park because the slide is super steep and then when you get to it there's a hill afterwards so if you go fast enough you get launched off. They love it, we come here all the time. If you watch any of my TikTok videos, I actually will do my steps around this park quite often, so you might get glimpses of it. But things to do in Cedar Hills is kind of fun. It's a small community of almost 10,000 people and it was established in the late 90s. So you don't have a ton of growth and it's a pretty landlocked space but it is a great, cute community. One of my favorite things is here at Heritage Parks is they have this cute amphitheater with raised seating. So you can come and they have Shakespearean plays and you can rent the space and you can rent the gazebo. And it's really just a great family friendly park. They have food trucks here every once in a while. And it's just really cool community stuff that Cedar Hills has. Another reason my kids really love this park is it has a river that goes through and it's not too deep. So I feel comfortable with them playing in it but they can splash in it all summer long. Uh, when we got here last week, it was done for the season and they were a little disappointed, but overall this park is really fun for kids and our kids range from 13 to six, kind of give you an age range of who likes this park. So one thing that's great about Cedar Hills is it has walking trails built in throughout the community. So we're on one right now that follows along the river, so it has great noise to it. And then it goes to Harvey Park and then connects to the Murdoch Trail. The Murdoch Trail is really cool feature here in Utah County. It goes all the way from Lehigh, Jordanell River, down to Provo Canyon and you can ride and bike for miles. You do cross a couple of busy roads, but overall it's a really great trail that's fully paved. They also have drinking fountains and shade structures along the way and a couple bathrooms. If you're looking for a recreational trail that is safe, the Murdoch Canal is a great one and it was originally a canal that they've enclosed so it's safe for you and your kids to use the trail to walk down. We've made it down to Harvey Park, which connects to the Murdoch Canal Trail, but the Harvey Park itself is pretty cool. It's one that our kids really liked when they were little. The splash pad is super fun. The playground is all inclusive. It also has pickleball courts and baseball fields. Just a great community park. Unfortunately, we did have issues with fireworks this year that caught some stuff on fire. They're working on getting it fixed. Uh, so unfortunately, no fireworks are allowed this close to the bench or the mountain. So keep that in mind if you are a huge firework fan. You'll get great valley views of the fireworks, but maybe don't shoot them off at your house because you are close to the dry mountain.
let's talk about housing in Cedar Hills. So Cedar Hills was developed as a subsidy in 1970, became an actual city in 1999, and there are no condos in Cedar Hills. So there are a few twin homes, townhomes, and your entry level point's gonna be about 465 to get a townhome or a twin home in Cedar Hills. These single family homes are a little bit bigger. They're gonna be about 750,000 is usually the mid range for Cedar Hills. You have some smaller homes that were built in the 70s that are gonna be a little closer to 600. And then you actually have multi-million dollar homes here in Cedar Hills. Style of house, you are gonna get traditional ramblers and tri-levels because of the time it was developed in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and you're gonna get a little bit bigger. One thing to consider if you are thinking about Cedar Hills is it is up on the bench in Utah County. So you do have some pretty steep hills. So if driving in snow is something that's gonna be a concern of yours, maybe Cedar Hills is not the right community for you. There are flatter sections and there are some new construction closer to city center, closer to kind of the Walmart that we showed you. But when it comes to housing, Cedar Hills has great housing, but it is not considered affordable in the grand scheme of Utah County. So we've shown you the parks and the stuff for the kids, but you want to check out the golf course. The Cedar Hills Golf Club is an awesome golf course with beautiful valley views, 18-hole uh, golf course, large driving range, and just a fun place to be. So Cedar Hills really has everything you need to live and play. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Cedar Hills, Utah. If you are looking at specific cities or areas in Utah and you want to know more, reach out. We help people through the process of relocating all the time. And today we have a treat for you. We're gonna go tour this home, so let's go check it out. This beautiful home on the bench in Cedar Hills is listed for a million fifty, and it's 3,900 square feet, has three bedrooms up, one in the basement, and you could potentially do an apartment. Now those are just the facts about the house. The house itself has a lot of cool high-end features that you don't normally get to see. It has a double dishwasher, double oven, which is a Viking oven and a Viking fridge, as well as a Thor six burner gas stove. So luxury high-end kitchen. The laundry room has set up so you could have four you could have two washers two dryers lots of space and the owner suite is beautiful renovated it's on the second floor so you get beautiful valley views as well as a walk-in closet a soaker tub and a euro dryer in the shower check out this house